Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. The star of today's home decor craft project are shower curtain rings. Yes, you heard that right. We have a pack of these silver metal shower hooks from the Dollar Tree. This comes in a 12 pack. And we're also going to be crafting with a pack of these clear plastic shower rings, also from the Dollar Tree. You'll be amazed at what beautiful pieces we're going to be making with these everyday household dollar store products. First up, we're going to make a beautiful wall mirror. This is a frameless 12 inch round mirror that we're going to place on top of this round 12 inch wood panel. And in order to hang this mirror up on the wall, we're going to take the hook from this dollar store frame and place it onto the back of the wood panel. I often use this hack when I don't have any command strips and it really works great. What you want to do is take the cardboard backing out that comes with the frame and cut out the hook. And then we're going to apply a strong adhesive to the cardboard backing. You'll want to use either E6000 or in my case, I'll be using some Fix-All. I'm also going to reinforce it with some hot glue so I don't have to wait for the Fix-All to fully cure. You'll want to position the hook somewhere towards the edge of your mirror, about a half inch from the edge. Next, take the frameless mirror and we're going to turn it upside down and apply your adhesive to the back of the mirror. I'm going to be very generous with the fix-all as I want to ensure that there's no way the mirror will separate from the wood panel. This is especially important since we're going to be hanging this mirror on the wall when we're done. Once there is enough of the adhesive applied to the back of the mirror, place the wood panel on the top with the hook facing up. And to help with the adhesion set, I'm going to use a few clamps to clamp the mirror and the wood panel together and leave it overnight for the fix-all to fully cure. Okay, so it's the next day and our mirror and wood panel are securely affixed together. Now comes the fun part. We're going to take those metal shower rings and place them all around the circumference of the mirror. You'll want to position them onto the back of the wood panel like I have done here. And the number of hooks you will need will depend on how closely or far apart you want to space the shower hooks from each other. For my mirror, I'm going to space them right up against each other. And once you're happy with how you will space out the hooks, then it's time to glue them down with some hot glue. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank you for tuning in to today's craft project. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, it would really, really, really help me out if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button and giving me a thumbs up. Your support will really help me continue providing you with more amazing and creative craft tutorials. And the best part is, subscribing and giving me a thumbs up is absolutely free, but will make a world of difference to me. So now that we have all the hooks glued down, notice how when you look at the side of the mirror, you can see the seam between the mirror and the wood panel. Well, we're going to have to fix that. We're going to take a string of silver beaded necklace and affix it all around the edge to frame the mirror. And by the way, if you're wondering about where all the materials and embellishments I'm using today are from, I'll leave a list down below in the description box. Most of the materials used today though are all from the Dollar Tree with the 12 inch mirror being the exception. For that, I'll leave a link in the description box in case you want to purchase them as well for your own craft projects.
And the last step is to take a dry paintbrush and brush away any hot glue strings that may be left over. And here's the final look for our mirror. Comment down below and let me know what you think. In fact, if you made it this far, drop a note in the comment section with the word shower so I know you visited today. Next up, we will be using the silver charger plate as a base to make a mirror tray that will be embellished with some plastic shower curtain rings. I actually made this tray a while back, but we're going to show you again today because it's just so beautiful and easy to make. We will need one and a half packs of the plastic shower curtain rings. Each ring will have an opening that can be closed. I recommend that you ensure each ring is closed securely before gluing down the rings. The rings should be glued down with the closed end against the charger plate. The rings should be placed all along the perimeter of the charger plate, leaving approximately 1 to 2 millimeters between each ring. Once all the shower curtain rings are glued down securely to the plate, gently turn the plate upside down and place it onto your table surface. We're going to build some crystal legs for this tray just to give it a little bit of height. And actually, in retrospect, if you're going to make this tray, I would suggest to build the legs first before you place the shower curtain rings on the plate. And what we're using here today are some large diamond shaped crystal gems that I found at the dollar store. We're going to place three of them, but if you want, you can actually use four instead. Once the legs are secured and the glue has dried, it's time to turn the plate right side up so that we can place a mirror to the center of the plate. The dollar store mirror we will be using is a round frame mirror, but we're going to be removing the frame and using just the mirror piece. When placing the mirror, you will note that I have opted to use both hot glue for instant hold as well as some E6000 for permanent hold. When you're ready to affix the mirror to the plate, make sure you place it in the center of the plate. For the next step, I will be gluing down a string of silver beads between the edge of the round mirror and the charger plate so that we can frame the mirror.
Our beautiful silver mirrored serving tray is now complete. This piece was so easy and so quick to do and cost me less than $5 to make. This serving tray will be placed on my dining table where it will hold my silver cutlery and some napkins. And speaking of napkins, our next craft will be turning a bunch of these same plastic shower curtain rings into napkin holders. For the napkin holders, I will be making several designs with an assortment of crystal gems. For this part of the video, simply sit back and enjoy watching the process as I place the gems along the curtain rings and make each one of them glisten and shine. All the napkin holders with the different designs are now complete. I ended up making three different designs all complementing each other. I really enjoyed transforming plain shower curtain rings into exquisite home decor items that I can show off in my dining room. If you made it this far in today's video tutorial, remember to drop me a note in the comments section with the word shower so I know you visited it today. And if you enjoyed today's craft project, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos of home decor crafts. In the meantime, stay on my channel and check out some of the other mirror pieces that I've made.